I'm very nice to meet you. My name is Kim. I know you're a photographer, so I'd like to ask you some questions. Of course. So how did you find out about photography? I found out about photography when I was about 13 years old. Um, my friend would always carry a camera around. And one day I asked, hey, can I see some of your work? He said, yeah, of course. So he invited me to his house. And he showed me the non-edit and the edited version of his images. And ever since, I, I fell in love with it. So what did you think about it when you were younger? Well, of course, um, as a young kid, you know, uh, I thought it was the most amazing thing. Um, the way I, he, he showed me the non-edit and edited version, it's like a piece of art, you know? Like he goes out, takes photos of, of families, people, um, landscape, anything, and he would create it to a piece of art. So I thought it was the most amazing thing as a child. How did you start your career? How did you get noticed? Well, before I started my career, um, of course, I started doing free portrait sessions, free weddings, you know. Um, I did suffer for a while, but I had to do that to build up my portfolio. Then I made a website, I made an Instagram, I did um, everything that's social media, you get me, to put my name out there. And I saw the result that people were calling me, you know, because every, all of, everyone is on on Facebook now, everyone's on Instagram, everyone's on, on everything, you know, so I just put my work there, they would comment, they would like, like, wow, I like how your images came out, can I hire you? And I'm like, yeah, so little by little, I started, my name started coming out. What advice would you have for someone who wants to pursue photography? I believe if you want to pursue photography, you first have to have passion for it, because without passion, you will not succeed. Second, you need to work hard. And third, you must have a creative mindset. Was your journey easy or difficult? Um, in the beginning, it was difficult because, of course, you have to learn something new, you know. Everything, every new thing that you do, you have to start from the bottom and then grow up, you know. But luckily, I thank God that um, I learned quickly. You know, when I was at, at school where I studied um, photography at AI, um, I learned so quick that my friend would come to me and say, hey, can you help me with this? And I'm like, yeah, I will help him, you know? And at the end, they'd be like, wow, Brian, thank you so much for your help. I feel like you should be one of the instructors here, the uh, photography instructor. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. So I learned quick, and, and but I did suffer because I had a well, lack of sleep. I had to study hard uh, about photography. Photography is not only about just grabbing a camera and just pressing a button, you know. Photography is more than that. It's something beautiful once you understand the, what really is photography. What sacrifices did you have to make? Well, one, I had to go to school full time. Second, like I said, lack of sleep because I had to study hard. Um, it's really amazing when you understand the principles and what photography really is, where it came from. Um, third, I suffered by wasting, not wasting time, because I was experienced, but like I said, I did free portrait sessions, free family sessions. I did free um, weddings, like family weddings, I did for free. Of course, I'm wasting money there, but I gained it back by putting my, my name out there and showing my work. So it'll work out for good. Who taught you to learn the art of photoshopping and editing professional images? One, when I was at AI studying photography, my instructors, um, videos, and myself, I just, you know, got into Photoshop, into Lightroom, all the photo programs, and I just started messing around. And little by little, I started learning how it works. So what type of mindset does one have to have in order to become a photographer? I believe you must have a creative mindset because you want to be unique. You want to be different from other photographers. Nowadays, there's so many photographers out there, and that's cool, and that's amazing. But I believe each photographer has to have their own unique style, you get me? Because that's when people will come and hire you, and call you and say, hey, can you do my wedding? Can you do my family portrait session? And yeah, the reason why they do that, because they see something different, you know? So you have to have a creative mindset. You have to be different. So what was your family, was your family supportive of your choice of career? They are supportive because after I graduated from high school, 
they asked me, hey Brian, are you going to go to college? And I said, yeah. But the problem was that I didn't know what I wanted to do. So my parents said, Brian, I want you to go to college, but I want you to do something that you love and have passion for. Because you don't want to waste your money, you don't want to waste your time. I said, that's true. So I said, okay, what do I love? What do I like doing? I like photography. So I told them, hey mom, I'm going to go do photography. My parents at first said, okay, that's good, but how much does it pay? Is it going to be a good career? And honestly, I, I, I didn't really think about it, about the money-wise. I just thought about it of me being a photographer. So I decided to go to AI, and they said, okay, we're going to support you. And little by little, when I, studied, when I was studying, um, when I had a class of business and photography, they showed me how much I could make. I'm like, wow. I can make this much by just taking photos. Of course, being creative and unique, but, yeah. If you weren't a photographer, what would you be doing? Honestly, if I wasn't a photographer now, I honestly don't know what I would be doing. I'd probably be doing something that I don't love or have passion for. Um, so why did you choose portrait and wedding photography? I chose portrait and wedding photography because I love people. Of course, um, it involves people, you know. Um, at weddings, I get to meet many cool people, new, new cool people. Um, I've done Persian weddings, Chinese weddings, Hispanic weddings, American weddings, black and, and Christian and Catholic weddings. And each wedding has their own unique style and unique difference in how they, how they do things differently, you know. So that's why I chose because I want to meet new people. I want to meet new things. So yeah. One, what's one thing you love about your job? One thing I love about my job is that I get to wake up early in the morning, grab my coffee, and drive to my destination. Because of wedding and portrait photography, I have traveled to many places, to many new locations. And I'm like, wow, I've never been here before. So if it wasn't for photography, I would have never been there before. You get me? And, and one day I want to be, I want to travel on a plane. I want to do weddings in New York or somewhere else that haven't been. You know, so that's my my passion and my vision to travel on a plane. Do you plan on expanding your career? How? I do expand. I do plan to expand my career, but I just keep working. You know, keep shooting, keep photographing, keep editing, keep doing something different that no one has done, you know? So I believe that if I work hard and stay humble, I will succeed. So overall, what would your advice be for those who want to pursue like, their own career? If you want to pursue your own career, first think about it. Do I have passion for this? Do I have love for what I'm doing? Because if you do, you will succeed. You know, don't do something that you don't love. Don't do something that you don't have passion for. Because for me, I love waking up in the morning to go to work. I love waking up in the morning, either going to a portrait session or to a, a full-time wedding, or just waking up, drinking a cup of coffee, and being on a computer editing images. You know, I love what I do. I wouldn't change it for anything. So I encourage you, you know, after you graduate from high school, go straight to college. Study something that you love and have passion for. Because if you don't do something that you don't love, you will not succeed and you won't be happy in life. Nice. Okay. Cool. Cool.